everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica Hover and this is my son Wilson. And today we're making a video about basically tips to make the first week with a newborn baby easier or things I wish I knew the first time around. Um, this is my second child. First one is Eloise, she's four. Will is one week old. So we just want to share with you guys some of the things that we've done this time around that have made life significantly easier than it was when we had Eloise. And I think one thing is having a baby is just overwhelming in general and especially your first kid, it flips your whole life upside down. So a lot of this stuff um, is better because because he's my second kid and because I am not as freaked out as I was with Eloise because I have seen some of this stuff before. Hi. Um, but there are some things that we're doing differently and it's made a world of difference. So I'm just gonna share all of that with you and you can take what you want. The thing with parenting is lots of people have lots of opinions and every baby's different. So maybe some of the stuff that's working on him won't work for you, but I hope that it helps make your life easier. And if you are a new mom or dad or somebody with a new baby in your family, congratulations, so exciting. Um, you're probably tired, make sure you rest. Okay, should we jump right in? Have the dad or the partner or somebody, auntie, uncle, someone, give the baby a bottle at night. That's what we did this time. So during the day, I pump after I nurse this baby. I've been doing it in the evening. Um, I pump a little extra, put it in the fridge, and then at night, for one of the times when he needs to nurse, Sean gives him a bottle and I sleep. So for us, that's meant that I sleep from one in the morning until like six in the morning, instead of nursing at one and three and six. What's that, boy, um, That's made a whole world of difference. We did one or two nights. No, we've done a couple nights where I've nursed every single time and the next day I'm exhausted and I cry more and it's just not my favorite. There have been a few nights where Sean's given him a bottle and it feels life changing. Oh yeah, with Eloise, we didn't use a pacifier at all. Okay, and with Eloise, we didn't use a bottle for the first month because people gave us advice not to because of nipple confusion. I guess newborn babies struggle to uh, nurse sometimes and so doctors and others are nervous that the baby won't know how to latch if you give them uh, uh, your boob and then a pacifier and then a bottle and all those nipples are different and so anyway. With Eloise, I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess I have to wait a whole month before I try because that was the general advice I was given. This time around, I am not listening to that. And I wish I didn't with Eloise. I wish I would have just trusted myself because she was actually doing well nursing from the start. If your baby is struggling to nurse, then yes, take take medical advice and you know wait on different things like pacifiers and bottles. This guy's done just fine. He even has a bit of a tongue tie and he's still managing to do it. So for us, we do the bottle thing at night and then we also give him a pacifier during diaper changes sometimes because we feel like sometimes he just is like a little fussy because he just wants to grab something with his mouth. So the pacifier has been so, so nice for moments like that. Um, we don't give it to him when he sleeps. He doesn't seem to need it. We're still a little on the fence of like how attached we want him to be to, be to the pacifier, but for diaper changes, it has helped us so very much. This will bring me to my next one. If you're nursing, learning how to nurse in public is really helpful. For Eloise, I was a lot more aware of like what people might think and I would always wear some sort of like tent thing and it was kind of overwhelming trying to figure out how to get her to latch. This time around, I have just embraced the fact that if I'm gonna nurse and live, then I can't be really, really concerned with what other people can will think. Um, I still am more sensitive if, in, depending on what setting I'm in, I'm down to just be nursing where other people are. And if they feel weird, that's okay. I think living in Spain really helped. People in Spain tend to be more free and excited about nursing and they aren't weird at all if they see somebody nursing in public and that really helps me <clears throat> so try and be Spanish and learn how to nurse in public and just get down with that life dressing for nursing that's hard I remember with Eloise it was so overwhelming to know how to dress and this time around uh, just every day I try and dress in simple ways that maybe even aren't very cute like cute is secondary right now to practicality. If I want to leave the house, I know that I'm probably going to be nursing every one to three hours, which is a lot. So I need to be able to bust these puppies out any time, any place. Like right now, I'm wearing a dress with like lower sides and then I can pull the nursing bra down and the baby can latch like that. Or I wear a t-shirt and then a tank top underneath it. Nursing tank tops are helpful for this. So you wear a t-shirt 
and then the nursing tank top underneath and then you pull the t-shirt up and pull the nursing tank top down and baby can nurse and you don't need any sort of cover nobody can see anything anyway and uh, that's been very helpful also um, not worrying so much about my body I don't know if this is you guys at all but for me first time around I was really aware and like kind of nervous about how my body was gonna be after having the baby you're still puffy you still kind of look pregnant um, you may lose weight from nursing you may not and all of that stuff was scary to me and I was uh, a bit insecure of what other people would think and this time around I've I've just chosen to trust that we'll figure it all out as it, as we go and I, I do know that every time I nurse it sends hormones into my body that are helping to what's the word like contract my uterus or something so it actually helps the puffiness go down um, but mostly I've just um, tried to relax about that stuff and so I like wearing flowy things I feel like wearing dark colors is um, is more flattering than light for me right now because my tummy is still puffy as time goes on your body is going to do what it needs to do and if you still have weight to lose later then you'll be able to lose it just like you did before and it'll be totally fine and so the priority is keeping a newborn alive don't worry about stuff like that you don't have that much time to think about things and so I would say don't think about that at all if I can just give you my advice this time around my friends help me to be more organized and have everything I need for diaper changes in one spot maybe that's a given for you and you already knew that I know a lot of moms are way more organized than I am but for me I, I have a tendency of just kind of like letting things go and trying to figure it out and uh, my friends actually put all of my diaper changing stuff right over there in this room where I sleep and the bassinet is right there over there and so we do the diaper changes and bedtime and his clothes are there and the swaddles are there and it's all like very easy to grab especially in the late night hours that's when I feel it most and it's been most helpful so having a bit of organization for the stuff that you're gonna do all the time which is diaper changes and probably swaddling and getting them dressed oh before I had the baby I went to Target and I bought myself some very cheap and unflattering like granny panties they're basically just briefs panties and then big heavy pads because uh, you bleed a lot during the first week of having a baby and so the hospital often will give you like the netted underwear and then they give you pads but you will likely run out of both during the first week and so if you can just have them on hand I put them in my bathroom uh, under the sink yeah this time around we are doing a backpack for a diaper bag we originally thought we were gonna do a regular diaper bag but it's a little too much so I have a backpack that I'm using as a diaper bag and it has been very helpful thank you it's golden yellow because he's a ray of sunshine. Uh, diapers are up here, pacifiers back here, change of clothes and stuff, swaddles are in here. The only thing that this is missing is like a changing pad thing, uh, but we haven't missed it yet. We probably will put something like that in there so that we can change him anywhere and feel good about it. But I mean, he's already been changed on in some like coffee shop benches and just like random outdoor places. And we've just put like a jacket down or a sweatshirt or whatever. Eloise was changed on the streets of New York City. She was changed in trains and cars and everywhere else. And I don't think we had a pad for her either. So you just make it work. The backpack is beneficial because I can just have it on my back and not have to care about it at all, right? I still have both hands free, but it's here right with the side bag I'm I it's there it's taking up half my body and right now I got a baby I have another kid and there's just a lot of stuff taking up my body so I can't have a bag taking up my body as well um, and the backpack is even nice for Sean to carry and other people to carry and uh, it's just easy it's practical also with Eloise well this is not Eloise <laughs> with Wilson I really want to keep him clean he's a fresh little baby I don't want him to get sick everybody's touching him touching his face touching his hair all that stuff with Eloise I, I cared a lot to the point of like being a little scared that she was gonna be sick or like too dirty or something with him we haven't given him a bath yet because his umbilical cord is still healing but I do wipe him down with like gentle wipes at the end of the day or a warm washcloth and then I call it good I ask people to wash their hands before they hold him um, I also have hand sanitizer in my purse so sometimes if somebody wants to hold him and I'm not sure how clean we all are then we'll do hand sanitizer first but it's a much more chill all-around experience um, they're fragile but you don't have to be stressed 
about the cleanliness thing. Just um, eventually you'll give them baths and it'll all be great, but the wipe downs and stuff have been really efficient and quick and helpful and they've made me feel good. Also, uh, for us, we treat his like his newborn sleeping through the day, being awake at night thing like jet lag. And we have a lot of experience with jet lag. And so what we did straight from the start was the moment he arrived, it was daytime, so we kept it really light and loud the whole day. So he could sleep as long as he wanted. It was more clear that he was sleeping in the day. And then at night, even if he's awake, we keep it really dim and dark and quiet. And, uh, and we treat it exactly like we do with Eloise currently and jet lag. Anytime we travel, we do it like that as well to help our bodies adapt to daytime and nighttime, right? So uh, that's been very helpful. So during the day, we try and keep him awake longer. Sometimes when I nurse him, um, the doctor told me I could like put a cold washcloth on his face so he doesn't fall asleep while nursing all the time um, just to make sure he's getting enough to eat. So try that, treat it like jet lag, newborn baby jet lag, and keep the days bright and loud and the nights quiet and dark, even if he's actually awake at night. You're gonna have to burp with force. <laughs> I'm really bad at diaper changes, swaddling, and burping, but I've gotten a little tougher this time around. I think they can handle it. So I burp like this, like a little harder, and then I don't even know if he has to burp. But, and then I like wait a second because sometimes that helps. And I go like this. I don't know, I think he likes it, even <laughs> if it doesn't work. You wanna see his face? Come on over, baby. Little Wilson. Wilson's my maiden name. James is. One of Sean's very best friends, who's, Sean says he's the best man he knows. Um, Hover, he knows our last name, so that was that. He's sweet. Okay, so those are my tips. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions or if you have tips for new moms, um, then leave comments and help each other out because we all need some help and support. And we will see you next week. And we're so excited that you're here on my channel. Follow us on Instagram. Okay, we love you. See you later. Bye. Say bye.